Hey guys, so it's Clara the Book Goddess, and I'm here with my July wrap up and my August to be read. So, I'm sorry if I cough. I went to the doctor this morning, and it turns out I have something that's like bronchitis and walking pneumonia rolled into one sickness. So that's fun. <laughs> not. I'm determined to let it not become pneumonia because I had that last year in August, and that was bad. So anyway, let's get started. The books I read in July. I read the Twelve Dancing Princesses trilogy. I'm pretty sure that was the first, like, modern fiction that I got to read this month, but I or last month, but I really can't remember. So, that series started with Princess of the Midnight Ball by Jessica Day George, and that was a retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses, and I have a review of that on the blog. I think I reviewed the entire series on my blog, so you can go check that out. But this series was amazing. The books were not long. They were about 200, 300 pages each, and they were just amazing. So the first one, Princess of the Midnight Ball, was told through the point of view of the eldest of 12, Princess Rose, and her adventure as she falls in love and, de and tries to defeat the King Under Stone, who's been keeping her prisoner along with her sisters. So, the second book was through, told through Princess Poppy's point of view and is a version of Cinderella, which is one of the most interesting versions of Cinderella I think I have ever read or seen. S that was a really, really good book. And Poppy is just so spunky and strong-willed and you just love her. The third one was Princess of the Silver Woods, a retelling of Red Riding Hood told through the point of view of Princess Petunia who is on her way to visit a friend of hers, a duchess, and gets kidnapped accidentally by this group of bandits. Well, she finds out that the King Understone and his son and his brothers are trying to get the girls back. So that is a great adventure, trying to defeat the King Understone for a second time. So, that was that series, and this next book I read actually... In between Princess of the Midnight Ball and Princess of Glass, I read my new favorite book ever, Entwined by Heather Dixon. And yes, I'm convincing, I convinced my dad to read this, even though he's probably not going to enjoy it. I told my mom, Mom, you should read this book because I need to talk to somebody about it. And she's just like, eh, well, whatever. So I'm just like, Dad, will you read this? Because he read The Tale of Emily when Snap for me once, so I'm just like, will you do this another one? So anyway, this is also a retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses, and it is stunning, amazing, and beautiful, and I've told you a thousand times to read it, so if you haven't, please go read it for me. <coughs> Sorry. And if you have a thing for Keeper, who's the most attractive villain that ever happened to fiction, please let me know, because I would love to talk to you about him. So, the next book I read was The Golden Braid, by Melanie Dickerson, which is a retelling of Rapunzel. That was the first retelling of Rapunzel I read straight through and finished. And it was very good. Very, very, very good. Rapunzel wanted to learn how to read. <coughs> and so Sir Garrick, a knight that reminds me strangely of Prince Arthur from the Merlin TV show, teaches her, not exactly willingly, but it is a great love story, one of the best I've ever read, and it's a great book. So, the next book I read after that one was The Healers of P Apprentice, also by Melanie Dickerson. This book is loosely, and when I say loosely, I mean very loosely, based on Sleeping Beauty. And the romance in this book, it's so good. All the fences from Malachi, it's amazing. I read this in like a day and I just loved it. And what's great is it's Christian, so it's completely clean. <coughs> <coughs> Bronchitis walking pneumonia. There you go, right there. Um, anyway, great book. Another book I would highly recommend. I think that's all the books I read this month, but I really can't remember all of them. I'm sure I'm probably missing something, but I don't know. I tried to check my library checked out history and realized it's not there. So, August to be read. I have already started Crest, which is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles. The Lunar Chronicles is a sci-fi series of fairy tale retellings. The first one is Cinderella, 
The second one is Red Riding Hood. This one is Rapunzel. And the fourth one is Snow White. So, my August TBR is to finish this book, which I am not even halfway done with yet. I already started it. I started it, like, last August, but I didn't finish it because my mom was reading reviews of Ferris, which is another book in the series that's sort of a side book, and there was stuff in it that's just not appropriate. So, I kind of stopped, and then I was on a website looking up Christian reviews of the series, and the rest of the series, except for Ferris, seems to be fine. So, I am going to be finishing it, and I'm really excited. So, after I finish Crest, the next book on my t TBR list is winter which is the conclusion to the lunar chronicles and that is a snow white retelling so i'm really excited about that other than the fact that it's snow white i really have no idea about that book so i'm really excited and i hope it's a great conclusion to the series so i have another book or two that i want to read i forgot to take one off my shelf <laughs> anyway the next book i want to read after i finish winter is the huntress of thornback forest by melanie dickerson this, I've already, like, read the first couple chapters of it while I was waiting for Crest from the library, so I haven't, like, gotten really, really into it yet, but it's, it's pretty good. It is Robin Hood, I guess, but it's, like, really strange, because the main character is our Robin Hood figure, but she's a, it's a female, and it's kind of in, an interesting take on that story, but the thing I've noticed about Melanie Dickerson, and I just after reading two of her books straight through, it's really, really obvious who she, who the main character is going to end up with. And I wish it would be a little more subtle and keep you guessing. But the books are still great and great quick reads. And awesome for getting you out of reading slumps if you're ever in one of those. Okay, I have one more book and it's an old classic by Jane Austen. I want to read Northanger Abbey. I've never read this. I have heard of it, and I want to, because I bought it for a dollar at my library, because I had it. So, I'll probably be reading this next month if I get to it, because, well, winter is 800 pages, so that might take me a week or two. But, that is my July wrap-up, and my August TBR. So, thank you for watching, follow the blog, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!